what's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. This review took a bit of time to be aired because I was busy with my office work, but now here it is for you. So if you did notice one of my recipe videos previously, I did intro this product a bit. I was using it in oats and now this is a full-fledged review, but that also has some important info related to price and the protein quantity and also a few other things. But in case you didn't notice that, then you can check it out in the channel or also you can check it out from the info bar. Now let's talk about this product. And hey, what's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. So we're going to learn how to do this uh, protein ladoos that I, I posted this picture on Instagram. I'm going to put it up here somewhere so you can see that what was the picture about. And I got a few requests to do the recipe. And why am I doing it during the um, ISO, 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 ISO gear, gear Essentials Isogare review? You're going to get it. It's going to be related. Um, I'm going to try to tell you why. But let's just first see what are the things that we're using. Of course, we're using whey protein, which is Isogare in this case. And it's almond chocolate fudge or something like that. And we're using oats um, and a bunch of mixed things. I use this uh, grain mix. It's, I'm going to put the picture of the thing that I use. It's from... Uh, Oitker, I guess, and um, it's good because it's got different things. It gives it a crunch. Tastes good actually. And we've got here a wee bit of um, almond and uh, cashews. This uh, broken down into small pieces so for the crunch. And we've got two types of dates in here. This is one type of date. This is another type of date. Let me see if I can show it to you in here that this is this is what I'm talking about. Now, what type of dates am I using and why am I using it? I'm going to tell you. So. This one that you see, it's a bit of dry kind of thing. This is uh, this comes in a package like this. It's called Lion. I'm using the Lion brand, but it's um, as a normal date. It costs somewhere around eighty to ninety bucks. This sort of box, and the one that you're seeing here is the juicy one. It's the binding agent, and that's the Chemia date. So I'm using I'm using from Lion brand. I guess you can use anything you want, but this Chemia, and this is the normal date. And the difference for that is this is for binding. And this is to give you the crunch, all right? This needs to get, give this crunch to your whole taste, the thing that you're gonna bite through, the ladoo. Now, you can see that this this thing that I've used, I'm not a big fan of this. This is peanut butter, and it's natural peanut butter. There's nothing else to it, but I've used like half a teaspoon. It's not even a full teaspoon because I don't like this thing. It's got a lot of calorie, which I don't need. So anyway, and the other thing, and which is why I'm doing this thing, you're gonna be surprised how much water I'm using. Just check this out, how much water I'm using. You're gonna use water to mix things up, but this is the amount of water I'm using, which is pretty less. Put these things together. And I think I'm gonna be able to put everything together except for this peanut butter, because it's gonna stick around, but that's okay. We're gonna like scoop it out, and I don't even like this thing. So if it doesn't go the whole way, it's okay for me. All right, so it went through. What you can use optional thing just to make it a bit more sweet is that you can use honey. Honey is an awesome thing that you can use to make this thing taste good and bind better. I didn't use honey because that's gonna add up the calorie. So now here's the point where you're gonna stop using the spoon and go back to our age-old tool for mixing things, which is our hand. All right, let me stop it right there for a minute and let me tell you what, what's going on in here. So the amount of water that you saw I just used and uh, the binding agents like uh, and uh, dates and stuff, that's not gonna work for all the other type of white protein. That's why I'm doing this recipe particularly for this uh, white protein review. It's got a ton of xanthan gum in it. Not, not too much, but more than what uh, usually is found in whey protein. And that's why it's binding so good. In the later part of the video when I'm doing the full review, you're gonna see that why I've got several other proof which says that why it has more xanthan gum. But if you're not using isogear, this binding is not gonna happen. It's happening only because it's isogear and this particular flavor because it's got some good amount of xanthan gum which is helping binding it and making it the ladoo. All right, let's get back to the video now. And you're gonna make sure you use your fingers to mix it initially because what happens is the dates and stuff which are a bit big chunks. You're gonna mix those up. You're gonna break those chunks. And one thing you can do is you can keep this mixture once it's nice and tight. You're gonna keep it in the freeze, not the freezer, just the fridge um, for about 10 minutes so that the whole thing gets a bit more tight. And once it is like this, as you can see here, 
it's good to go to become a ladoo. So let me show you how it does. You just grab one small dough and keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Your hand is the best tool, baby. Your hand is the best tool and you got this nice looking ladoo right in front of you. Let me see if I can do a focus action in here. So there, here's the stuff. Looks pretty nice, tastes awesome. The usage of this thing is amazing. Like if you are somebody who's going to office, you need a healthy snack, this thing can go. Each of these things is gonna have about 68 grams of protein and a lot of fiber, a lot of glucose also, which is a good thing, and uh, uh, some of the minerals as well. So this thing is fantastic. This this particular mixture that I made, it's gonna make about four um, ladoos like this. Healthy stuff, um, way better than your um, ghee ladoos and stuff like that. So I hope you like this video. And let's get back to the review. And do a complete review of this thing. First of all, and you might have already noticed, the packaging of this product has been improved. It's got a facelift and it's fantastic. It looks pretty similar to Rad Castleberry's um, product line. There's like cartoon sort of things on the product. which looks, makes it look really funky. So kudos to that. This is a great uh, facelift and kind of makes you use the product like the product, something like that. But that's on the package. Now let's talk about some of the important factors after that I'm gonna talk about my analysis and also effectiveness. The things that we already know about this product is that it got one gram of carb per serving and about 0.5 gram of fat per serving because this is an isolate product. The other thing we know that it costs about 65 rupees per serving uh, and the serving size according to them is, or as per their label, is 32.5 grams. Now this is one company which I have to give them a big applause for, which comes out and says, what is the percentage of protein based on the as is basis? So they say, and it's gonna vary depending on the flavor. If you're getting the chocolate flavor, it's different. Vanilla is different. I'm having here chocolate almond fudge, and that's got 83% of as is protein percentage. How do you know that? Because if you look at the label, then uh, next to the protein percentage, they kind of put a star and then you got to come down up here where they say it's on the as is basis. So big round of applause for Gear Essentials to do that because I haven't seen a single company doing this so far. If you don't know what is as is or dry basis protein percentage calculation, then you can check out my video which would be in the info bar as well. Now, talking about the composition of this product because it's not a raw whey protein, then you can find it out. I'm not going to talk about the nutritional label because you can read it out from the website also. But this comes as um, isolate protein. I think 90% isolate protein. They add flavor and uh, binding agent, stuff like that. They've added some xanthan gum and also uh, what they claim is that they've added some real chunks of almond and nuts. So. I'll probably put a screen up top on here where you can see, yes, they did put, and it shows up at the bottom of your shaker, or if you want to pick it up by your hand, you can do that. Every scoop gets about uh, five to 10 uh, pieces, small pieces of the nuts. And let me tell you how I use it, and then you, can then you can probably map it, how it is effective or not. So I do uh, six days a week workout, full body workout. It's not too intense, but it's moderate quality workout and recovery is important for me. Before this, I was using Ultimate Nutrition Pro Star rigorously for about a month. And then I used Pro Gage um, whey protein, 100% whey protein and also muscle whey, but not that intensely as the Universal Nutrition Pro Star. Then I started using this thing and I'm using this thing for the last three weeks or so as intensely as I was using Pro Star. Uh, and the intensity is about three to four scoops per day and it might frown you but the actual fact is I'm just fitting the macro with this product. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And as far as effectiveness is concerned, this is pretty similar to what I felt I felt with um, ProStar. Um, although, you know, you can't compare that to blend protein and it's an isolate protein. But effectiveness wise, I found they both are giving me proper recovery and I'm getting the strength increment or progressive overload, something that I can go for. This is something that you can measure whether you're uh, getting some results out of your nutrition, your food, uh, the, your nutrition, your sleep, and your exercise. Now your nutrition contains your supplement, but is not completely formed of your supplement. So if you're not getting proper sleep and your workout pretty much sucks, then this is not gonna do anything to you. Anyway, now, so this is pretty effective product and it's an isolate product. So I like this product overall. When it comes to fla flavoring of this product, this particular flavor I love. I tried this sample pack of mango, I didn't like it. 
I tried the sample pack of uh, vanilla. I liked it. It's not great, but this one is fantastic. Uh, when it comes to mixability, I'm going to put the screenshot on top of the video clip on top where it mixes pretty well and you've got to shake it and it's going to mix well again a bit more. Uh, but the one thing that I noticed right at the back when I just shaked it in the first video that it's not creating much of a froth. And then I did try different things that I could try to understand why it was not making the froth and my suspicion was actually correct. So if you see the screenshot or the video clip that I'm going to put up here, you're going to see that I've used a small cup, a small dish sort of thing, add a little bit of water and put the whey protein in that. And what happens if you add less water um, in whey protein? It's going to chunk out. It's going to make a dough sort of thing. This thing doesn't do that. What it does, if you keep it like that for about 10-15 minutes, it's going to create a gooey sort of thing. It's going to be slurpy, so it's going to fall off the spoon slower. That says that they've added more xanthan gum than they usually put or anybody usually would put in a whey protein and specifically oscillate protein. And that's restricting, restricting the froth. See the colors and the stuff they use for the flavor that can restrict the froth as well. But I think xanthan gum is the primary thing that's restricting the froth. And at the same time, xanthan gum is creating that slurpy thing. Now, if you use this particular flavor from them, then you're going to feel exactly the same thing that I'm saying, and you can relate to it, what I'm talking about. Is that a deal breaker? Now, it could be a deal breaker for some people. Let me explain. So, uh, isolate whey protein is taken primarily for three reasons. One, for higher percentage of protein. Two, for faster absorption. And three, for less amount of fat and carb. So if you're somebody who looks into this second school of thought, or you're in that league of people who want fast absorption, you can kiss this thing goodbye because the anthem gum is known to slow digestion. Isolate whey protein is supposed to be digested or absorbed completely during the first part of your smaller intestine. It's going to do that thing too. That's not the problem. But the xanthan gum thing is known to slow down your digestion by creating a gooey thing in your stomach and the whole digestive tract. It's a known fact. It's not something I'm making up. So you can check out my video on xanthan gum to know more detail about it. But that's pretty much what it is. But if you're somebody who's looking for more percentage of protein or uh, you're looking for less fat and carb, this is a fantastic product. It's great uh, recovery. And when I talked to their representatives about this fact, they did agree that the xanthan gum on this is more, not too much more, but more. Uh, and they did say also that if you try the other flavors that has less xanthan gum, so you can try them out if you want to. So uh, that was the overall idea. Coming to the microscopic test, we didn't find anything unusual except for some natural whey protein texture with some colors added to that, except for a huge ginormous chunk of nut. I don't know which nut it is, but it was gigantic. Now coming to the last part of the video, whether I should recommend it or not, you know I don't recommend any product because I'm never sponsored or I get some profit or something out of this thing. I bought it from my own pocket, so I'm not going to recommend. Would I buy this product if I were not reviewing? That's what something I say. I don't think so. Primarily because of the price, not because of the product. See, when ProStar or some other product comes at the similar or lesser price, pretty less price, and gives a similar effectiveness because it's a supplement and it fits only a single a small portion of your diet, then I wouldn't be spending as much money as that I have to spend for this product, which is, uh, where did it go? 65 bucks per scoop. If they had brought it down for seven to eight bucks, yes, I would have gone for it because it's a great isolate product and because of the less carbon and fat, it gets me control my macros better if I'm leaning down. You know, a person like me who's containing a bit more fat and I'm trying to lean down at the same time build some muscle. For me, this sort of product's ideal, but the price is a blocking factor for me. Other than that, it's a fantastic product. In case you want to buy this product, the link is in the description. There's no promo code, nothing. You can type the link. You can take it from someone else. It doesn't really matter. I don't care because I'm not going to get any profit out of that. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. In case it was helpful, do leave a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Have an awesome lot, folks. Ciao.